the islands of Bermuda are celebrating four centuries of British colonial rule. And no wonder, as those 400 years have seen the self-governing territory rise to become one of the world's most prosperous economies. Like many Caribbean destinations, it's year-round sunshine pulling in tourists. But it's the sunny tax regime that's even more attractive, bringing more than 13,000 companies to set up base on Bermuda's shores. The country's prime minister, Ewart Brown, is visiting the UK at present to mark the anniversary. And I'm pleased to say the Premier joins me now. Good morning, Premier. Thanks very much for joining us. Good morning. Thank what you. What does it mean to you to be celebrating 400 years of British rule? Well, it, it means a, a number of things. The first thing is that it indicates some stability. We've been there that long. Anything that long indicates some strength and ability to stick. What about the, the economy? Because many say that uh, Bermuda is seen as a safe haven in troubled times and resistant to the global crisis. How resistant has Bermuda proved to the global financial crisis? Well, so far, fairly resistant. The reinsurance business is almost uh, recession-proof. Mm. The impact has been somewhat negative, but uh, we're holding our own. What about with all eyes on the fact that investors and governments are looking at offshore financial centers what could that what could that mean for Bermuda and its future well it's going to be an exciting future we've established offices in Washington and London uh, we have teams who try to keep people abreast of where we are uh, and we think we're going to be fine what about clampdowns because there is a clamp down on various tax havens. Could that mean a, a hemorrhaging of companies from Bermuda? What have you seen in the last year? What we've do you seen think might some happen? movement uh, yeah. from Bermuda, but we've also seen the establishment of new companies, new reinsurance uh, companies. And so we're confident that we're going to come through this. Yeah. What, what, are, what are reinsurance and insurance companies telling you, though, about the, about the, sort of the tax climate and about the, the, the clamp down on havens? What are they telling well, you? Well, we're working along with them. Uh, we know that Bermuda has a pristine reputation in, in the regulatory world, and they're working with us to make sure that we remain competitively sharp. I mean, financial services account for 60% of your gross national product. I mean, how does such a, a small island achieve something like that? Just a lot of smart people working hard <laughs> together. That's all it is. What's your, what's your way, what's your sort of methodology of, of, of attracting new business and uh, uh, attracting businesses to, to, to come to your island? Well, essentially, it's that it, it's easier to do it because our regulatory regime is is tried and tested uh, it doesn't take long to set up in Bermuda although our regulatory uh, system is is considered uh, one of the best in the world when companies are always looking for the most favorable regulatory regime the most favorable tax regime how does Bermuda stay ahead of the pack we stay ahead by by staying on top of everything, by mm. keeping our staff on top of everything that's happening in the major financial markets of the world. Climate change, that's something very close to, to, to Bermuda, Bermuda as well. You know what's happening in Copenhagen. And uh, events like Hurricane Bill earlier this year, of course, ha had a, a big impact on Bermuda. What are you looking to hear to come out of Copenhagen in the next couple of weeks? Well, I'm looking for the big countries to do what they have to do. Uh, because what they do has a tremendous impact on us. Uh, when we find our water getting warmer and uh, more highly acidified, then that's a threat to our coral reefs. And so that is very, very important to us. So we'll be watching carefully. Small island countries uh, can be seriously threatened by the rising um, sea levels. Thanks very much for joining us today. Bermuda's Premier Ewart Brown there visiting the UK.